Hello, this is the question of 2009, October and November, paper 1 1, and the question number is 12. It shows the diagrams, two diagrams here, show two ways of hanging the same picture, same picture, which means that uh, uh, all their features are same, including mass, the area, the volume they occupy. In both cases, a string is attached to the same points on the picture, same points here. This point is same as this point, and this point is same as this point and looped symmetrically over a nail in a wall so that means this side and this side is equal this side and this side is also equal the forces shown are those that act on the nail so these are the forces on the nail so in the strings the forces are along the string and here the forces is these are the reaction forces on the on the uh, nail so in diagram one the string loop is shorter so that means this string is shorter than this string so now we have to uh, identify which of the following equations is correct. So one is, uh, first one is whether R1 equal to R2, T1 equal to T2. In the other quantities, you can see the uh, relation like this. So one thing that we have to uh, remember is that the weight of this thing is same in both cases. Of this thing is same in both cases. So the weight act along the exact center, somewhat like this. So that means if this is balanced, the forces R1 and R2 also should be same. This R2 should be equal to this, R1 should be equal to this. Since this and this are equal, R1 and R2 should be equal because the thing is being suspended and it's in equilibrium. So if we, we I go through that choice, so choice number A and B could be correct. So C and D cannot be correct. Now, let us consider this normal case. So if I have some force like this, let us say this is R, and if I have a uh, tension forces like this, so let me say this is T and this is T. And let me say this is the angle theta here and angle theta here. So the component of this tension force over here is is equal to uh, this is a T cos of theta, and its component here is also equal to T cos of theta. So that means the total force downward is T. 2t cos theta and since the whole system is in balance it should be equal to this r so 2t cos theta should be equal to r now what we need is so t is equal to it is r by 2 cos of theta 2 cos of theta so if theta is high if theta is high cos of theta is less and t is high t becomes high if theta is less, theta is less, cos of theta will be more and the t will be more. So that means if I consider these two cases, in this case our theta is more. So here theta is more, theta high. Theta high means the tension force here should be high. So t1 should be high. And here this theta is less. This theta is less. So theta less means cos theta more and t should be uh, let me say this is this is wrong actually so t should be less actually so if theta is less t is less so this tension is less so t2 should be less and t1 should be more so that means that means, that means yes choice number b should be correct so r equal r2 and t1 is more than t2 now uh, as a as a as a something extra let us try to make it let us try to make this, this theta more and more by making the string shorter and shorter and shorter so can you make this theta totally 90 or let us say can you make this thing as a whole somewhat like this this is not possible because if i try to make this theta 90 theta 90 so cos 90 becomes 0 cos this 0 means r by 0 is infinity so t will be infinity so that means the tension increases very much and uh, no string can uh, effort to have infinite tension so as the value of tension goes on increasing the string or the rope or whatever it's, it will be it will break at some point so that's why so that's why uh, we can make this theta 90 also uh, depending on the tension the theta is also limited so if we want a string uh, if we have a string which can suffer from high tension we can make theta high or we can make the string shorter if we have something that can suffer only less tension, 
theta should be less that means we have to use longer wire